Hi guys, so we're gonna do shaman stones or moki marbles as they're more um, frequently known as. Let's see here. They are sandstone concentrations found on the north rim of the Grand Canyon in southern Utah. They're found in some other places too, but that's the biggest place where you'll find them. Um, they're naturally spherical and their color is medium brown. Um, they range in sizes and they're known as Moki marbles because supposedly the children of the Moki Indians used them to play with. Um, let's see here. The name Shaman Stones is derived from another story about the Moki Indians who were said to have used the stones as talisman in ceremonies. Um, so, they're earth elements. It doesn't say how hard they are, um, but they connect to shamanic journeying, soul retrieval, polarity, balancing, psychic protection, and intuition. And supposedly they hit up all the chakras. I got a little guy, a big guy. Well, bigger guy. Um, but anyway, basically these guys are formed by concentrations of sandstone rolling across the desert floor. And sometimes they pick up metallic elements so you'll end up with iron and things in them because they'll pick up the minerals that are around them as they roll. Um, kind of the same principle as snowballs, um, but they're gonna pick up whatever's around them. Let's see here. Um, great for meditation. Uh, harmonize the energies of your uh, meditation fields. Mm, deep journeys into the realms of nature. Uh, apparently they're helpful in overcoming fear of death or fear of pain. Mm. Uh, can be used as protective guardians during healing sessions. Um, it says particularly when the removable, removal of entities is necessary, which tells me that basically they're good for getting rid of the bad juju. Um, I think that's about it. All you guys probably need to know about them. Again, I don't know how hard they are. They do chip if you knock them together, but it takes a good bit of effort. Um, that's pretty much. Because they're like kind of a uniquely American thing. There are other deserts and things where they form, but these particular ones come from Utah. All right, guys. So, we'll talk later about some other crystals. Um, I just wanted to cover these guys real quick since we only have the two left in the shop. Don't forget to like, share, all that kind of fun stuff. And, um, you know, if you need a shaman stone, I have two up here at the Cat in the Grove. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye now.